Hello, hello. Look who's back. It's me, Girl Beanie. What's going on, guys? I don't know. It's a rough week for me, so <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. It's just a rough week. It's been a rough month. Um, anyhow, so just a quick video, um, give you an update. So tomorrow we go to Aspen Dental for wax try-in number two. I had buyer's remorse the night of wax try-in number one. And I really started second guessing having gone with the ultra, ultra brightest shade of white that they offered. And the reason being is when I had that light bulb moment in the car, when I said, I should have put, went outside with them and taken a picture outside. That is all it took for me to have an anxiety induced situation and just say, oh my God, dum dum, why didn't you do that? Yes, I had a camera that had a flash and it, it wouldn't make a difference when you're under fluorescent yellow lights, um, you're not gonna get a true depiction of color like you would from going outside. And it just got into my brain, like why didn't you go outside, Beanie, <laughs> and take a picture? And yes, everybody I sent pictures of my teeth to just thought they looked wonderful. And I'd send pit people pictures of the three teeth together, you know, when I was holding up the three samples. And they're like, no, the brightest shade, the brightest shade. And there was just something in my heart that just kept saying, no, mm -mm. like, yeah, you want it. You want the more is more. And yes, in a couple of years, they will yellow a little bit, but no, no. Like you're, you're going to draw attention to yourself, but not in a good way. Like I want people to, yeah, look at me and say, Hey, you got a great smile. You know, it matches your personality. Or, you know, if they're talking to me face to face, say, yeah, you know what? I like talking to Beanie. But I don't want them to have, you ever see like in the cartoon, the red and, and white swirls when people get hypnotized and you know, it spins real fast. Like I don't want my teeth to do that to people. Like I don't want them to be so bright that you're, you're sitting there looking at them like, are they natural? Are they not natural? And not in a, a veneers type of way, okay? You know, like, um, and even with that, you know, you can tell when people had them done. And I think too, because of me having dental issues for the last 25 years, I hyper-focus on people's mouths. And I think a lot of us that have dental issues do that. We look at everybody's mouths. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I would go to the plant shop, there's one lady there and I know she has dentures. So I, would, I sit there and like, look at how her dentures looked and you know, you see what I'm saying? So it was in my head. And then I decide to open up the Pandora's box and YouTube denture tooth color. Okay, so here's a disclaimer, okay? Every dental facility in the United States do not use the same exact numeric system for their teeth. Their teeth may all come from the same manufacturers, you know, you know what I'm saying? Their teeth may come from the same sources, but they all may not necessarily use the same numerical system on their fans. Cause like, if you go to the dentist's office, you'll see that there's a fan and it has all the teeth color that you can pick from. Um, so first and foremost, like with Aspen Dental and I know Affordable Denture is the same way. Yes, you have tooth color choices. It is not, close to how many teeth you get to pick when you go for permanence. When you go for permanence, I believe like Aspen has 27 different shades of teeth um, that you can go with. I don't know about uh, affordable, but I also know that even like with my immediates, my immediates, you had a very limited range of teeth to pick from as far as color. These are the brightest teeth for Aspen Dental's immediates. They are yellower than my real teeth were. So that was always kind of like a little bothersome for me. I mean, granted, I only had like five teeth left, but <laughs> now I had more than five, but you know what I'm saying? Like they were still brighter than this. So I think that's why I was so jazzed about getting the ultra white teeth, but it was in my head and I, I couldn't get it out of my head. And that's part of the anxiety disorder that I have, um, like the obsessive 
when you start freaking out, like, did I make the right decision? Did I make the right decision? So then I started going down the rabbit hole of looking at people's videos about denture, uh, so, you know, teeth shade selection and denture color. And, you know, there are so many videos out there. I found so many more channels than I had even seen. Um, and I ended up watching one guy's video and I don't remember, I know his channel I think was just his name. I'd have to look it up in order to be able to link it. But basically, um, this guy kind of just said what I kind of knew in my own head, which was, you know, when you go with having bad teeth for so long, it's normal to be excited to want like the best teeth, the best looking teeth out there. Um, and it's normal to want to go and push for the ultra, ultra, ultra white teeth. But in the long term, they are your long term teeth. And while you may be happy with them, they may not be the best fit as far as making you look like you have a natural smile. And, um, and that's kind of where I was at with it. Uh, you know, just like with, like these are plastic teeth, but there are people out there who get porcelain dentures. And um, Ivoclar, I don't know what Ivoclar teeth are made out of. Um, you know, some kind of something, I don't know. But you can tell the difference between porcelain teeth and plastic teeth. There's like a, like a sheen, like a reflection that's very different. Um, at least I can tell. Um, and as far as like the snap-in teeth, you know, what do you call it? The implant teeth. You know, I, I, again, there's just different, there's different products and availability. So there's, there's my thing. When I go to get tried in, um, it won't be with the original shades that you saw in the other video, which was P7 on the top and P4 on the bottom. I felt like um, I needed to go down so i went down to a p2 which like i said it's the darkest of the when i held up that swatch of the three teeth it's the darkest of the three teeth it's the, it is the um like the darkest bleach shade and if i don't like it i'm sure they will change it for me again but i called them the following morning and i said listen just change it i just think they'll be too bright and, and I could have waited, like I could have waited, went back there tomorrow and said, no, nah, still doesn't look good, remake them. And then that would put us like a week behind schedule. Um, so I feel like, uh, I don't know. I just feel like it was the best thing for me to do. So like I said, I told them, you know, make, make them in a P2. And I mean, the bottom still were gonna have to be remade anyways because they look like shit. Uh, and we'll see tomorrow. We'll see what they look like. Hopefully they don't look like super shit. I don't know. And hopefully I'll be in a, a good mood where I'm open to, <laughs> to seeing it. So here's the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. I had to run a Dollar Tree the other day to, uh, to pick up some paper clips. And because I was in a little bit of funk, I didn't feel like going home right away. So I'm just kind of meandering up and down the aisles. I didn't need anything else. But I'm in the healthcare aisle. And I don't know why I've never noticed it before. I am almost 100% certain that this is not a new product for Dollar Tree. Maybe my Dollar Tree's just never keep it in stock. I don't know, but this is the first time that I've seen the product and it is this. So this is Dr. Sheffield's Stay Dent Denture Adhesive Cream. So I said, what? Dollar Tree, what is this? And uh, I said, well, you know what? For a dollar, I'm going to purchase this because it can't be any more craptastic than that polydent powder, which is, I'm still nursing that damn bottle. I'm still nursing because I just, oh, I hate it. Um, but I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna use it. So anyways, if you guys have not seen this product yourself, it is a zinc-free formula. Um, and those of you that are new to wearing dentures uh, and have not you know, heard about it yet, I'm sure you probably have, um, but there is some controversy as far as, 
um, using denture products that contain zinc, how harmful it would be to your body to absorb zinc over long-term use. Um, so, but that's not to say that there's not other shit in this that are just as equally bad for you as zinc is. That's the thing too, okay? So don't get hung up. If Listen, if you find a product that has zinc in it and it works for you and you like it, then use it. Because there's probably other crap in there that's just equally shitty for you. But anyways, this, this is what the box says, okay? So Dr. Sheffield's is made in the USA. Um, developed to use the moisture in your mouth to form an airtight seal that will keep your dentures firmly in place. Safe on dentures, natural teeth and gums, laboratory tested and approved, adhesive will provide firm and long lasting holds. It also says on the front of the packaging that this is compared to Fixident Original and we're gonna talk about that in a second. Um, so again, made in the USA, zinc free formula, the net weight is 0.85. So I would call this like a makeup bag size. So for my ladies who wear dentures and you have a little makeup bag in your purse like I do, this would be, oh, hold on here. Oh, hold on, hold on. I didn't realize I had this one out here. Here's a fix dent Plus that I got from the dentist's office when I got my dentures. Um, and I normally keep one of these in my bag for an emergency. So there's that one versus this one. So the length of the tube is about the same. Uh, this tube is fatter than this sample size. Okay, this sample size is 0.35 ounces and this is 0.85, so it's more than half of that size. Um, so I think this would be a great travel size. Even if you don't use it, anything other than as an emergency, for a buck, you can't be, beat that, other than the ones that I got for a quarter of that time at Ollie's. Um, so here is this size compared to like a regular size. So I think this is what, like three bucks and change for one of these at um, like Walmart. And this has 2.4 fluid ounces of product. This has 0.85, so this is less than an ounce of product for you know, a dollar versus three dollars and change. So price point wise, I mean, you probably, yeah, price point wise, I think you still would come out cheaper by a few cents. It'd be marginal, but still, because um, you know, that's one of the things about Dollar Tree. You gotta, you know, even though it's a dollar, you're sometimes you end up spending more because you're getting a lot less product of something. Um, okay, so now here's my thoughts on this. I had no expectation, none, right? Because we, you guys know I'm pretty critical so far of any of the products that I tried. This one so far is still my favorite. Um, the Polygrip, uh, super, super strong, uh, no, no taste, zinc free. And it's got that, that tip that I like, that ooze control tip. This is still my favorite one, partly because A, it doesn't taste like anything, and B, because when it's time to take it off, it is just so easy. Like, it comes off of your appliance so easy. I'm not happy with anything that's Fixident, hence why I haven't used this one up. I did like the Fixident Secure, um, but I haven't found that anywhere locally. Um, again, this Fixident Plus Precision Hold and Seal with Scope is garbage. It does not hold for me. The powder doesn't hold for me. Um, so anyways, I decided to give this stuff a shot yesterday. And um, I gotta tell you, I'm impressed. To my dismay, I'm impressed. Is it like the ultra of the superstar products? No, it's not. But let me tell you something, for a dollar, it outperformed any of the fixidents that I have used. It outperformed the powder. Um, I would say it's on par with Polygrip, Polygrip Super as far as hold. It's good. It was good. And I, I didn't listen. I didn't, I didn't give it a, a pass because like, listen, if I can find a product that works for me, um, Yesterday, uh, I just cleaned my dentures, 
dried them off well, put this product in. Now, the one thing I will say, um, though it is a zinc-free formula, see here it says extra strength holding powder, power, um, and like fix it at original. I don't consider that, I don't even think they say extra strength on it. I would say this is a, I would say this is on par with other extra strength products that claim to be extra strength. Like I've had products that said that they were extra strength and they were far from it. And I've had products that said that they were super strength and they were far from it. Um, I don't think Polygrip is like a super holder either. Uh, but I like the fact that it doesn't taste like anything. And I love the fact that it's easy to take off my appliances. Like, you know, you just grab it and it'll come all off, you know, like it's easy to keep your appliance clean. Um, with this stuff, the one thing is, is that it does have a taste, uh, but the taste is, okay, so it's pink like Fixident, because Fixident is also pink, um, well, most of them of the Fixident, different, you know, variations, oh, yeah, this one's pink too. Um, so it is pink like Fixident. It does have a taste. Ugh. It's not even like a, it's not a taste of something, like, is it really a taste? Now that I'm thinking about it, it's not really a taste. I'm lying. It's not really a taste. Maybe it's just the product, like the product, the way that the product feels. I don't know. Um, I did not. Here's one of the things. You guys know I get denture juice a lot. So when I use like the cream products, and I don't know if it's just like I'm a very saliva-y person or I don't know what the case is. But throughout the course of a day, I'll start to get what I call denture juice, which is your saliva mixing with the product over the course of you chewing throughout the day will start pushing residual product out of the top of your denture plate. And I'll always get like, like gook, you know, like, like gook. I did not have that experience with this product. Um, I wore the product yesterday, I wore the product today. I did not have an experience with denture juice coming out. Um, other than, you know, when just putting it on your tongue, I mean, who would do that anyways? I don't have an experience with bad taste. I ate, um, let's see, what did I have yesterday? Oh, I had popcorn. I had a lot of popcorn yesterday. Like I popped my own popcorn and I was crunching y'all. I was crunching a big bowl of popcorn. I had no loosening of my teeth. Um, and that was at the end of the day. So I had eaten throughout the day, various meals, you know, like my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner. And then I had the big bowl of popcorn and um, the popcorn was at the end of the day and my dentures did not loosen up, including my bottoms. Now, normally I get one good meal out of my denture adhesive. And then after that one good meal, I'll still have like, my teeth will be there. It'll be intact, but they'll be loose. And I could like, you know, wiggle them around or, you know, flick out the, the bottoms. Um, so that surprised the hell out of me. It really did. Like, I didn't think this product was gonna be worth the shit. Um, Cause I said, but I said, oh, I'll put it in my bag. Who cares? Um, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> I think, I think I will, this, though this is supposed to be like my purse size, I think what I'm going to do is use this tube for the rest of, you know, the next couple of weeks uh, until it's gone or the next week or so until it's gone. Um, and if I really like it, I'll just go and buy this, buy three of these a month. Well, that's, th yeah, that's $3 a month. I mean, that's no different than buying three of these would be no different than buying one of these. These are like three twenty-four dollars or whatever at Walmart. And three of these will give you the same eight sixteen twenty-four. Actually, eight sixteen twenty-four thirty-four. dollars You'll get 0.15 more ounces with this than you do with this for 25 cents less if you want to get technical <laughs> i don't know i'm a miser 
Um, so yeah, if you guys are in need of a to-go product, um, just to keep one in your, I don't know if you should keep denture adhesive in your car. Like for me living in the South, like it's 70 degrees today, that's okay. Um, but once summertime hits and your car can get to like 120 degrees inside when it's just sitting there, I probably would not leave this in the car. Um, but if you need a product to keep with you for a case of an emergency, um, I, I'm good with this one. Like Dr. Sheffield made in the USA. Thank you, sir. Because this has been uh, a product that I haven't totally hated, a denture product since I got dentures. <laughs> Uh, surprisingly, like I said, I liked it. It was really, I mean, pretty good for a buck. Thank you, sir. And now watch, they'll probably go and change everything on it. Um, the only thing I didn't do was I didn't go online to compare the, uh, the ingredients. I don't even know if the ingredients are on here. Uh, here's a story about this guy. Yeah, see, look at, here's the thing. They don't even tell you what's in this stuff. Is it on here? Nope. Well, ain't that some shit? I thought it's the rule for them to have to write on here what the product is made out of. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. Uh, petroleum, cellulose, calcium, polymer, plastic, mineral oil, propylene glycol, urea. It's got urea in it? That's interesting probably paraben. It's got red number 27. I think they could leave that out. You don't need to give me color. I don't need no color with it. And it's got a uh, methyl paraben, which is a, the methyl paraben is a preservative. So anyhow, yeah, guys, if you guys need a cheapy, you're out somewhere and you're like, damn, I need some adhesive, go to Dollar Tree, check out the state, the state in. I think it's pretty good. It's no worse than any of the other crap out there. Um, I will, I think, check out some of my local pharmacies and see if they have their own off brands of uh, denture adhesives and, and give them a shot too. And I'll let you guys know what I think. So anyways, I hope you all are well. Um, I'm going to go and do some work and um, we'll see you tomorrow at Aspen. Try on number two. Bye.